there are many things that you can do to make a 3D uh, rendering uh, or drawing better. Uh, one is to really add the details that are on the design before you go to 3D. And, you know, for example, we have baseboard here on the entertainment section. And I can just drag that up here. And I can tell it not to return it on one of the sides. And just go to baseboard on the other side and just drag that up here. And all we're doing is just adding a little bit of that detail that, that makes it pop, makes it a little different. We can also go up to change, and we could change standards in this room. If it were beaded inset doors, we'll come to doors. Make sure you go to change door in insets, make door inset, make face frame beaded, eighth inch minus, click OK. And we just made it beaded inset doors. So if that's what you're doing, really show what you're, you're actually doing to the customer. It makes a big difference. And in the drawing, it's just going to look a lot nicer. Now, I'm just going to drag up another baseboard here. And I'm not going to return it on the left. And I'm just going to make the, the depth of this 16. And I just want to double check on this. And if you notice, I double click on this. It's actually 18 is the depth of that cabinet. So that's how we find out these things. And I'm going to make this 18. What's great about software is it really does show you things that you're not aware of and keep you from making those mistakes. And I'm going to change that to zero. I'm going to make this 18 for the depth. All right. And something else I want to do is I want to go to another library here. And we have a lot of them, Osborne, Adams Wood Products, White River, Table Legs, and, you know, where you have hundreds if not thousands of other options to put things on your design and if you come down here we have some pilasters and I'm looking at all these and maybe we want to put that pilaster on the uh, the drawer here so we just come over here we're gonna go here I'm gonna make that a six inch style and I'm gonna make this a six inch style go to the uh, right style there and go six And then I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to put this particular item. And I can put it next to 15 or I can overlap it and drag it afterwards. Just bring it in there. If I want to make a copy of it, I could go right of and copy. And I'm just going to drag it in there. Make sure it's from wall the the 16 inches. We got it at or the 18. So we'll go 18. We'll go on there, double click on it, make it 18. So these are all little details that you can do to, to really make this uh, come out. And uh, I'm going to click on this particular unit and I'm going to make the overhang on the front. I'm going to pull it forward and it's already five inches on an 18. So what do we got? 24. So let's just make it. Uh, uh, let's let's leave it the same. Let's see where we are in the 3D just to take a peek at it. And uh, looking okay, I think. Yeah, we're looking pretty good there. Looks a lot nicer. Uh, some other things you can do on the 3D is go to options. We can go to set textures. Let's come down to the uh, handle color. So we come down. I don't like that handle color. It's a little too bright for me. We can come in here, click it to change if we want to just darken it up. It's It's got a silvery kind of color to it right now so we'll just make it that color it matches kind of the countertop there and I'm gonna also change the cabinet color uh, let's go to like hickory let's set that and let's darken the color here so I can just click on that and darken it a bit set it really bring out that looks like a red in here and what I'm also gonna do is I want to uh, adjust the floor a little bit. Maybe we put it a carpet or something like that since we are in an entertainment center. So I'm just going through the floors here. And if you scroll through some of your choices, there's a couple of rug options. And we'll do, well, we don't want that rug, but let's just do, we'll do rug any color and set that. And what I'm going to do is close and just let it render and see what it looks like. And when I come in here, I'm just going to take a peek and looking a lot different isn't it and uh, if we wanted to add a few more items in here we could 
uh, as far as books or other things from the accessories library that will make it look a lot nicer. Uh, we could add some wall baseboard here. And But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go to options and I'm going to go to the drawing quality right here and I'm going to up it to, let's go to four and hide and redraw. Let's just show you the difference. And uh, like I said, it's it's quite pronounced on this. And you also notice that there's uh, the lighting. Well, we haven't really done anything to the lighting. So before I let this render all the way through, I'm going to go to options. I'm going to return to uh, 2D. Okay. So we'll return to 2D here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add custom lighting. So if I come up here and go to accessories, and the good thing about custom lighting is that I just grab whatever light I want and I can put it anywhere I want. All right, so if we want ceiling light here, just to put one there. And I can also change the color of it. If you notice here, I can click on it. One is black, two is white, gold, four is silver. So let's just try silver or, or we could go gold. We'll go three is gold. And the nice thing is, is when I do that, I could double click on that, go right of, and I can just do a copy on that. And I can drag it over where I want. Now, if I change my view here, you're going to notice it just happened to put it right where I want it here. And I can slide it around. If I go to 3D, now you don't even see the other lighting there. I put it where I wanted it. And once again, if I put lighting in other places, it will make a big difference to this rendering. We probably want some lighting out here somewhere because if you notice how dark it is, and in what makes a 3D rendering look really good is the fact that light comes from everywhere. So we want to probably go ahead and add a few lights here. Uh, I'm just going to let it render for now, let it be dark in here. Let's just assume that this particular uh, room is only lit here, and this is the way it's going to look. But you will notice how much nicer how we get into what we call soft shadows uh, and anti-aliasing, which really cleans it up quite a bit. And uh, and yeah, and it's all and uh, the picture just looks more and more real as we increase the resolution. We add a few of these little details. Now, once again, what I'd probably do is add a few more lights in the front here just so that we could make these uh, corbels or these fluted pilasters a little more pronounced and uh, but for the most part this is looking pretty darn good got the rug and uh, it's another good start to uh, a great 3d rendering